Hello guys, welcome to this episode. Um, system admin course of fourth video. And this video, this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can easily get rest with tablet mask. Not only that, you will be the pro or master of creating subnet or find out the IP address if somebody will give you the subnet. Based on the subnet number, you will be able to find out your IP address. And you will be the master if you watch this video from beginning to end. And I'll give you a strong commitment. You definitely, you, will, you can learn. So my word is you're gonna learn. Maybe you don't know how to find out as uh, an IP address from the submit, usable IP address or DNS name or DSCP or maybe um, uh, submit mask, uh, uh, prefer DNS, other than this, you don't know right now, but after watching this video, you are able to find out all those things. Not only that, definitely and confidently I can say, you will be the master of this. So spend, I don't know how long it will be, maybe it's gonna be one hour or less than an hour, but definitely you will be a master after watching this video. So stay with me, and if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And also, if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up and also make some comments because your comments encourage me to make some more video for you. So stay with me. I'm going to start uh, the last class for system admin, like last class means the last class for networking side. And this is the second video for networking and last video for networking, um, which is IP submitting. So let's get started. All right. So I believe all of you guys are able to see my screen and before I started, we're gonna just discuss a little bit about our previous class. And if you don't, if you didn't watch my previous video, um, I'll put all the other three videos link on the description box below. So if you never watch my other three video, please watch it. Then this one will be more clear for you. Uh, and also. Make sure you watch my first networking video, which is uh, on a system admin course. It's, it's third video, but for networking, this is the first video. If you don't watch it, please watch it. It's on my description box. So this is the fourth video of system admin course and second video of networking and last video of networking. So don't be confused. This is This video is dedicatedly for find out the subnet. So I'm gonna discuss a little bit about the previous class, not that much. So the last class we learned to identify IP classes, right? So how do you how we can identify your IP classes, right? So for identifying an IP class, and this is IPv4 address, we know IPv4 address is 32 bit. And 32 bit means there is a 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit total four block. 8 bit means each 8 bit call, each 8 bits call. Oct one octet, so four octets makes one complete IPv4, right? So which is 32 bit, 32 bits, right? And how we can identify which one is class A, class B, class C? Based on the first octet. So if we found any IP, first octet is starting with any range of this number, definitely you can say this is class A or class B or class C. So we just need to identify the first octet if it is the range of this or this or this, and then we can easily say this is class A, class B, or class C. That's it from the first class. Now, in today's class, we're gonna learn a little bit more on that uh, four octet. So this is class A, right? So this is A, and this one is class, okay, let's have like more bigger number. Just give me one second. Okay, so this A, this is class B, this one class C. So the class A 
plus a is um, let me just check the skin share start is one okay yeah so make sure this is here all right so say for example class a 10.0.0.0.0 slash a this is this is actually network id and this is actually network so the first one 10 it means what does it mean that's we just need to know i'm going to explain here four okay so make sure i have everything correctly okay that plus is say for example 10 dot zero dot zero dot sorry zero dot so each block is actually dot so say for example one or maybe two or maybe Three. So this is an IP address. It can be stored like this. All these are IP address. And you can say, see why it's not coming up as a series. Okay, anyway, so make it two, make it, uh, sorry, say for example, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, right? So five is gonna go up, uh, go up uh, like, because if you think about this one, 125, this is the range, right? Here we know this range, right? So if this is the range, if this is the range, so we can go for fourth octet from one to 255. But the only thing is you cannot go 255. So two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to just, so how long I can go? Let's go down, down, go down, go down, go down. Okay. We can go whatever we want, right? We can go whatever we want, right? But the thing is, where we should stop? How we know? Where we should stop? How we know? So we can go more, right? You see, we are at 256. We cannot go over. And even though, if you look at here, what is our last octet range from number one to 255? We cannot go over. We cannot go over. This is the rules from networking. So if you look at here, our last number we go here. So it is, this one is not possible, right? I'm going to delete it. 255 is for up to 255. So after 255, what's going to be happen? Then you have to start with what? In IP, we are still in IP. 10 means what? We are still in class A, right? We are still in class A. So then where, from where we can start again? So maybe in here, we can have here the same thing, same style, but this one we can start with. Maybe in here, this one start with one. So 1.1 1 .1 and then 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, and and if you go up to what up to you can go two fifty five right up to two fifty five and then where you can go go up and then go up again so when two fifty five is done then. What should be the next one? So next one will be start here, but this one will be number two. So this one will be number two, this will be number three, and then go up to 55, right? This one, you keep this one two, and then in here, you can go up to 255. After 255 is done, then you can come here, you can make it number three, right? And then go up to 255, and then come here, number four, right? And up to go, and, and up to here, 255, then, Come here, number five, right? That's how we can increase the number. Increase the number, right? 
So all those are plus A and P, right? That's for sure. And five is belongs to this, right? And the third octet, right? Zero to two fifty, zero to two fifty. So when you're gonna stop this one, so whenever this number will be, whenever this number will be 255, like this. To keep this one and say, for example, this is number two, this is number three, right? So that means what? This is still number, this is still num class A. Not only class A, this is also the same network. So how we can say same network? So whenever you see any IP is class A, that means class A means the first octet. I didn't change this one. And I'm changing here, I'm changing third octet. This year third octet is same, right? Second octet is same, third octet is same. And all those IP is belongs to the same network and also class A. And in here, Second octet I, I, and first octet is the same, right? Like this, this one, like this one. But the third octet I change. Still, this is the same. Those are the same network. Now, so now if you look at here, this one, this two is same, like this, like this. But the third one, the third one change here, change here, the third one also change here, right? So what's gonna be happen? So it's gonna be, say for example, this one is go up to, to, the, to keep third one same, and it was go up to 255. One word is go up to 255. Let's, let's do some, some numbers. Then you're gonna be understand better way. So we'll go up to, say for example, this is 255, think about. 255, right? Think about this is 255. Then from where you're gonna start again? So you're gonna have to do like this. The second one gonna start. This one will be again one. And this one will be one now. One. So you're gonna keep like this the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up to 255, right? So you can go up to 255 here. Whenever 255 is done, 250 is done. Uh, and then th this one is also done, right? So then the second one, you're gonna start with like this. this the second one you're gonna start with. This one, two, number two. So you see how, uh, how many number you can do. So you are changing this one and now this one, right? This one is already done. Now you see the second one, uh, so second octet. Third octet range is done up to 255. And you are still changing this from one to 255, from one to 255, from one to 255, right? To keep this one the so same, but this one you are changing now. So now you can go like this the same way. You can just changing this one to number three, right? So to keep, this one fixed number three and 255 is already done. And you are changing this one, one, two, three, up to 55. When this is done, this is done. And then what should be, it's gonna go like this. Whenever you are here, like this, this is 255, 255, 255, 255, and 255. So you are done. But the only one thing I wanna show you 255, you cannot use an IP address. 255, you cannot use an IP address. So that's the requirement. So you have to use 254. Why? Because 255 is used for broadcast. Why? 255 IP, I'm going to write it down here. So any 255, last one, is dedicated for broadcast. Is dedicated for what? Broadcast. Dedicated for broadcast. It's called broadcast IP. It's called broadcast IP. So 255 and I 255 is an IP address, but you cannot use it. It's not usable. So that's dedicated for broadcast. That dedicated for broadcast. All right. And 
Then that means how many IP you have from starting to here? For any class, any class. So fourth octet you can have from one to 254, one to 254, one to 254. So any, any classes, fourth octet can start with one and end with 254. 255 is dedicated for broadcast, so we, can, we, can, we are not going to count it. Okay, now what should be your default gateway? So default gateway is not fixed. Default gateway is not fixed, but the first IP as a standard, most of the organization, first IP they reserve for default gateway. They reserve for default gateway. Now we need to understand what is the default gateways, right? We need to understand default get what is the default get it? and why I say is is class A and also the same family same network. So what does it mean same network and same? Uh, so one thing you need to remember, you see here in the left side I have some color and call network ID. So in class A, the class A call slash eight. That means eight bits or first octet, eight bits or first octet is dedicated for defining the network and the rest three octet is defined, is dedicated for defining the host. That's why I said network ID and host ID. So the first octet is dedicatedly defined for network and second, uh, sorry, third, uh, second, third and fourth octet is uh, uh, dedicatedly defined for host. So that means all those IPs, you see here how many IPs we draw is we actually, it, it will be total 16 million something IPs you can create with class A. That's what we already designed here, but I didn't write down all the numbers because it's gonna be huge number. Do you, do you remember, can you uh, imagine like 16 million IP address? I can, do you think I can write it down here? It's not possible. That's why I said one, two, three, then dot, 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 that means you're going to understand it's going to be up to 55, up to 255, up to 254 actually. Actually, 254, we cannot use it, right? So that's what I mean here in, in this explanation. So, and host study means all those IP, you see here, this is an IP address, right? This, this All these IP, all these IPs is, is going to be usable IP. You can use it for host. You can use it for what? Host. You can use it for what? Host. Host means your device. Your, your laptop, your desktop, your server, your application, your network device, every, anything, any kind of device, you can assign it as an IP address. So E 10.0.0.0, that means if I put it as zero, that means it's a network. But whenever it is one, that means it's an IP address. So whenever we have the case like this, straight, slash eight, slash 16, slash 24. This slash mean subnet. This slash means subnet. So this is the standard subnet number. This is the standard subnet number for class A, class B, and class C. So class A, whenever you see slash A, that means it's also defining as a class A. That means the first block gonna be defined as a network. When it says 16, that means two octet is gonna be defined as a network. Two octet, two octet is going to be defined as network. And then whenever you see something slash 24, that means three octet, three octet going to be defined as a network. That means what? So any IP address, if you send for network class A, say for example, this one you assign for, this one you assign for, um, say for example, you assign it for one of your uh, host device. This one you assign it for one of your host device. And this one you assign it for one of your host device, right? This one you assign it for one of your host device, right? Uh, so you see here, this is 10, 0, 0, 3, 10, 0, 1, 6, 10, 0, 2, 5, 5, 5, 10, 1 is completely changed, randomly changed. Let's see here, this one, 0, 0, right? In here, third of that also change. And IP number, the last one is also IP, is, is also the host IP, right? It's also changed. And in here, third of the change. In here, 
So third and second order change, but still it's in the same network. It's in the same network. So what does it mean same network? Think about in your family, you have a six brother and sister, sister, right? Six brother and sister. Plus you have your parents, right? Uh, say for example, you have uh, your dad, right? So that means you guys have a family, right? So your six brother and sister, all of them has a different, different name, which is your first name. So you say, for example, you have three brother and three sister. So three brother has three unique name, which is your first name. Three sister has their own three unique name, right? Which is their first name. But the last name is sometimes is defined as a your family name, that means, for example, say um, your name is, e -E, your first name is E, -E your family name is A, B, C, and your brother name is A, -A, -A and your brother last name is A, B, C. And think about your another brother name is WWW, -W -W, and your brother last name is A, B, C. And your sister name is maybe, maybe R R R R, and last name is A V C. And your another sister name is H H H. And I'm just giving an example. First name is H H S, and last name is A B C. And think about your other sister name is C D D D, and then last name is A V C. And your dad name is. Your, 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 your father name, your father name is KKK and ABC, okay? So all those are your brother and sister and including you. And the first one is your dad, your, your father, right? Your dad, uh, so your father. So if I ask you, what's your name? You're gonna say EE, -E. what's your last name? ABC, right? So that means all of you guys are in the same family member, right? And the same family member, right? So if any one of your brother and sister, if I ask, what's your dad name? What's your dad name or what's your father name? What's your father name? What are you gonna say? KKK, right? KKK is your father. And what's the your family? We are ABC family, right? So ABC family means you guys, all of you guys are, you including your dad, your father, including your father. All of you guys are belongs to the same family. All of you guys are belongs to the same family. So that means you are maintaining the same network. But just give an example. If I copy to the other section here, okay. Say for example, in here is instead of ABC, say NNN. Uh, sorry, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z family. What? X, Y, Z family. Think about this is your friend and they have the same three brother and three sister and they have a father. So all of them has their all unique name, different name. Maybe his name can be same, but the family name is a different, right? So your friend family name is X, Y, Z, right? That means, if the number is same, if the IP is same, but last name, family name is different, that means they are not your family member, right? Two different family member. That means two different network. So whenever two different network, that means you will not have some internal communication. Maybe you have a relationship, that means some rules needs to be implemented to have a relationship, right? But in here, by default, you have some relationship because all of you guys are belongs to the same family. But this is not your family, it's your friend's family. So they are your friends, all brother and sister has their internal relationship. And your brother and sister has your internal relationship. But if you want you guys who wants to have some relationship with them, then in between there will be some bridge you guys need to be established. Right? So two different father with two different family. So in here, in here, I show same family, but 
how is going to be different family how is going to be different family is class a definitely right but if i change one of them like this instead of 10 if i go for say for example 45 right if i go for 45 and if it is the number like this right 45 45 if it is the number like this that means what still this this is class a that's for sure but but this is this ip is not anymore belongs to this group because the first octet is changed and first octet is defining the network so now this one is a class a but different family like your like your what like your uh, friends family right now and also we understand what is the default uh, uh, broadcast ip the last one if it is 255 that one is broadcast and what it should be your default gateway i said the first ip we always reserve for as a default gateway so default gateway means your father so if any one of the brother that means all of them are brothers see here how many numbers we have a lot of numbers a huge number 16 million ips but all 16 million ips think about all 16 millions is your brother and sister so for this subnet, you have one IP address, one default gateway, right? So for this one, if you go with this, you're not changing. You keep this one zero, this one zero, and one. So in this series, this is one family, right? But this one, do you think it's, it's, it's here is changed? Do you think it's a different family? No, it's not different family. The same family because why? Because you are not changing ten. Ten is zero your family name here see like as abc so abc you are maintaining abc you are maintaining abc you are maintaining abc you are maintaining so that means if your ip is this one but still this one will be your default gateway which one is the default gateway this one this one will be your default gateway that means your father so if you ask if you ask this computer which one is your Father, you think the first IP, this one, number one is your father? No, the default gateway is going to say this one is default gateway because all, all those are in the same family. All those are in the same family. But if you ask this IP, if you ask this IP, hey, what is your default gateway? Do you think this one going to say this is my default gateway? No, because it's not the same family. It's your friend's family. Your family member is this, your family member is this. Your family member is this, your family member is this, because everybody is maintaining first octet is same, 10, right? 10, right? 10. So it's all of your brother and sister and and so and same family, right? ABC family. So ABC family means number 10, right? It's 10, 10, 10. ABC family, same family member. So for if it is same family member, it doesn't matter. Each and every one. When you change the sequence, you see here, 255, you have one here. You have one here, right? To keep this one two. When when this one is one, you have one here. When this one is two, you have one here. When this one is zero, you have one here. When this one is one, you have one here, right? When this one is... So, all of the same family. Whenever it's same family, wait. Then you default default get only the one default gateway. So 16 million IPs, if it is keep the same family, same bonding, you have one gateway. So to ensure one gateway, default gateway, you have to have this format, slash eight. And with slash eight, we'll be able to create like this kind of sequence. But if you change it on the first octet, Say for like like as this one forty five. That means it's not anymore. This is the last uh, uh, like with the family example. This is the last name of the family, right? Which is the fam a family name. So the family whenever the family name is changed, that means network ID is changed. You see here ten and forty five is different, right? So the rules is if you want to maintain class A or A network or slash A, you have to keep first octet same for entire IP or whatever that it can be millions of IP or it's less than millions of IP, but you have to keep first octet same to keep all the IPs in the same network. 
So in this one is not belongs to anymore in the same network. This one is different. Think about this is your family, right? So this family network, their default gateway will be this one. Their gateway will be this one. 45.0.255.1. That will be their default gateway. Or if they start with zero here, zero here, then this one will be their default gateway. It's like, because it's millions of IPs, right? I don't have enough space to write it down. Just for understanding, right? So you understand, I believe, to maintain family, the first octet should be same, and then the rest three can be changed. That's a class A with same family. That means family name is same. First octet is same means family name is same. Family name is same, and family name is same means your network is same. Same network. You have to keep same number. If you start 10, if you start with 11, then you have to keep same 11, 11 all. So that's called a network ID. That, that means slash eight. So if it is slash, if it is not slash eight, if it is slash 16, class B, right? So what do you have to do? What do you have to do? So for example, class, you start with class B. <clears throat> so class B means 172 dot what? 116, something, just something, just number, 0 0.1. 172, 172, sorry, 16, and 0. Okay. So, so what does it mean? What does it mean? 172, 16, 172, 16, 172, 16. What does it mean? That means, you have to keep same up to here, right? So, but the last one, you cannot use it because it's dedicated for what? This one is dedicated for broadcast. So you use like up, up to 254, right? 254. So <clears throat> let's see. And then in here, what are we going to do? Same thing, right? So we're going to copy. I'm just going to just copy here. To just make you guys understand. Okay. So 172, it is going to be 1. 1. Starting from 1, right? That's what I'm doing. It can be any number from 0 to 255, right? Based on, based on this range, right? I believe you understand already. So to keep the same, but what is the requirement? If you want to keep it same family member for class B, so class B two octet should be same. If you start with 172.16, you have to keep 172.16 for all. You have to keep it same. You have to keep it same the way I did it here. See? So and also it seems like this one also you keep same, right? But actually you're not counting this. It can be changed. We are going to we're gonna change here. So whenever it's done 255, then in here it's gonna be changed to one, right? So you can say, now this one, that is gonna be number two, right? So if you keep this up to here, 172, 16, 1.255, this one is a broadcast IP, right? So see here, what is the difference? You keep saying this one, you keep saying this one, but in here it's changed. So do you think, this one and this one is any more in the same network? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because you are keep same this one, but each one, this one changes, it doesn't matter because these two is defining host and these two is defining network. So whatever is defining network, you have to keep same. That means same family name. That means same last name, right? Based on this example, last name. Family name is gonna be same. That means you're in the same network. So now, if you think about this one, okay, seven, so one, then whenever you, 255 is done, then you're gonna change the third octet again. So it's gonna be number two, right? Number two, and then up to here, number two, number three, four, and then two, five, four actually. So then 
we are changing to 255. So that means what? You see here, here is zero, right? Here is third octet one. Here is third octet two. Here is third octet 255. So it's going to be same. Two, 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 two. Then whenever the, this one is done, then you're going to make the other one is this one is three, then go starting from one to 254, like the same way. And then four, this one will be four, then up to one to 254, and then this one is five. And so you go over, over and over and over, over and over. Whenever your third octet number is 255, and you can start one to 255 again, then you are done. You are done. No more. No more IP suite. The same network. But if you change second octet or third octet, then it's going to be class B, but family will be changed. That means network will be changed. Not same network. Class B, but not same network. So what's going to be happen if, if this is the case? If this is the case, what's going to be happen? It's going to be zero. So just an example. So you say, for example, We have number two, number three, right? So instead of this one, if it is not 170, it's 176. This is 176 and it's gonna be say, up to 255, right? Just an example. So in here, in this example, this is the IP. Say, for example, one of the IP just choose from here. Just choose from here. This is the one of the IP. This is the one of the IP. We choose from here. And maybe one of the IP is choose from here. You see here? In, in this IP, this IP, this IP, all this is a little bit changed. The third octet a little bit changed, right? Third octet a little bit changed, right? But all those are same network. How? Same family member. Like all of them, you're, you're brother and sister, and only one father, which is this one, which is this one, only one father. How? Because your family number is same, see? 172.16 is same, 172.16 is same, 172.16 is same, but where is this changing? On the, maybe on the third octet or maybe on the fourth octet. That can be changed because that's defining the host. That can be changed. So you are changing here only, right? So why do you change? If you look at here, any, any IP of this? Okay. So this IP, this IP is not anymore belongs to this family. Because why? This is 172.16 and this is 176.16. 172 and 176. So class B network, that's for sure, but it's different network, different network. So this IP, this IP, this IP is the same family member, same family member, but this IP is not same family. Whenever it's different family, that means it's a different network. And if it is a different network, then it will have their own default gateway. That's what I'm trying to explain. So for this family, who's, which one is the default gateway? This one will be default. This one will be default gateway. But all these IPs, we have a lot of IPs. We're going to calculate. Um, how many IPs we can have and how many hosts we can, network we can have with, with which class. So in this one, this is the default gateway. This is the default gateway. That means their father. All of them are kids. So if I ask this one, hey, what's your father name? He's going to say this name. Uh, what's your father name? He's going to say this name. What's your father name? He's going to say this name, right? But this is a different family. If you ask, this, this one is not you, your, your brother or sister, right? So it's not going to say your, your father name. If you ask this guy, what's your father name? It's not going to say this one because it's not the same family, right? It, it is the same family. It's 170, this one is 172. Do you think it's the same family? No, it's not. So that is going to say, okay, my, my father name is this. So that means it's a different network. So if it is a different network, then you have its own Default, uh, default gateway. So default gateway is a father 
and same network means your family, which is your ABC family or XYZ family, right? So whenever you saw is class B or class C or maybe it's class C, but if the network is different, that means must it will have a, its own default gateway. And first IP we reserve for default gateway. But if you reserve other IPs as a default gateway, that's not gonna be an issue. But everybody maintain the standard. And for the standard, it's not mandatory, but standard, I say standard. So the first IP we use as a default gateway. So I believe you guys understand, if the network is different, then also definitely that network will have its own default gateway. And so class A means it has only eight slash eight. That means it has first octet, you have to keep same. Class B, two octet defining the network. So that means it's 16 bit defining the network. That means two octet, you have to keep same if you want to have the same network. And for class C slash 24, which is like this. So that means what? You will be able to just, you, you will be able to just change only the fourth octet, nothing else. So 192.168. Now, what should be the case? 192.168. I'm just giving an example, zero, okay? So 192.168.0.0 is the network, but IP should be start from one. So if we start from one, then what should be the IP? The 192.1, oh, sorry. Then 168, I'm just giving a number. It's, it, it, it's not mandatory 168, it can be zero also. It's not a problem because you are in between any number here, right? In between second and third octet, in between any number. But whatever the number you start, you have to keep same. That's the, that's the requirement. If you start with zero, you have to keep zero, 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 all. If you start with one, uh, two, keep all two. If you start with four, all four. If you start with 168, all 168. That's the requirement. So 192, 168, zero, three. 192, 60, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll 168. I'm just giving an example, okay. So if you keep continue, if you keep continue like this, what's gonna be happen? Keep continue, you can go up to where? Up to here, right? 192 dot 160, sorry, 68. They said, so we keep, we keep what? Three after same, right? So if if you change here, now let's see what's gonna be happen. Say for example, I'm just copying this one here. All right, so one eight one sixty eight zero. So say this one is one, and then. 192, this is two and three. Okay, so this is not anymore 168. Say, think, think about this is zero. So I'm going to change this one. Up to what? Zero dot one dot, sorry, zero dot this, right? So that means 255 we know already is a broadcast, it's not usable, you cannot use it. I'm going to delete it or I can keep it, whatever. I have a different, right? So up to 254 actually usable. So if you look at here, what it is? 192.160.0, but 192. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I can make mistake here. For an exam, for the example, I mistake here. Oh, 
Oh, it's fine. It will not mistake. It's fine. So in here, you see 192, 168, 0. And here, 192, 0, 0. So that means second octet is changed here, right? It's not same. It's not same, right? Third octet is same, but second octet is not same. That means it's different network. Easily, you can identify it's a different network. So for class C, only the fourth octet you can increase and up to from number one to up to 254. And then you are done. You're gone. You cannot keep same network with other number. Why? Because you have if you make it number one, okay. And second one, if you make it like say, this is one, right? This one. Whenever this 55 is changed, then now you have to change the second octet, uh, uh, third octet as a, uh, instead of zero, you're gonna start from one, right? Because your range is from zero to 255. So how many possible way you can increase? That's what I'm showing. Possible ways, so zero is, with zero, hit zero saying, you're able to make one, two, 255. And then, now you need to change the third one, it's number one, right? It's gonna be number one, right? 192, 0 dot number 1, 192, 0 dot number 1, right? So up to where you can go? Up to 255, right? 255, right? 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, up to dot, 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 255, right? That's what is possible. But if you look at here, whenever is change. You see here in the network, what is the requirement? For class A, same family, same family member, for keep same family, that means same network, you have to keep this one same. That means you see here ABC, ABC. This is the host. Like my my sister, brother is thinking about this is the host. That means this is this is the host, right? This is my name. This is my name, this name, right? But Last name, family name is not changed. It's same, same for all, right? So that means this is the family name. You have to keep same. And the requirement is three octets should be same. So three octets should be same here. Three octets should be same, right? Three octets same, right? Three octet we have same, right? Three octet we have same, right? In here, see, three octet is same, right? In here, three octet is same, right? But three octet is same. That means it's class C, right? But one thing is, it's not the same family. It's not the same family. Why? Because if you look at here, all three is maintaining three octet same, but it's not similar. That means it's, one is ABC, another one is XYZ. How? 192, 160 is supposed to, if it is the same family, it's supposed to be 192, 168.0, right? But it's not 168, it's zero. And this one also is supposed to be same, right? 192, 168.0, if he wants to make this one and this one the same family, then it should be 168 here and then zero. But now it's not. And also it's not matching with this one, right? It's not matching. That means it's not the same family. If it is not the same family, that means it's a different network. That means it's a different network. So if it's a different network, that means for all those IPs, that means how many IPs we are getting with C. So class C is pretty simple. With class C, you're going to get 154 IPs. And all 154 IPs is below. <clears throat> uh, out of 154 IPs, the first IP we are, we are dedicating for uh, defining our default gateway, and which is our father, right? So if, so if you did that one IP is because it's already dedicated for your father. That means how many kids? How many kids? That means 253, right? 253. Because total we are getting 255 IPs and last IP is, is dedicated for broadcast so we cannot use it. That means we have 254, right? So out of 254, the first IP is we are dedicated for our father. So that means our default gateway. So we cannot use it, right? That means how many kids? Starting from two to 254, that means 253 IPs, usable IPs. Usable IP means you can send for your device. That means you uh, like your, uh, you, right? Your kids. So kids are 253 kids with one father, 256 kids with one father, 
256 kids with one father. So this is the father, this is the father, this is the father. That means default gateway, default gateway, default gateway. So if it is different, now I design here three different network with class C. And if it is a different network, that means definitely each network will have their own default, default gateway. Like as each family has one father, right? Each family has one father, right? You cannot say, okay, my friend's father name is same my father name. You, see, you can say like, um, you, um, your, fr your friends cannot claim, okay, uh, he's my father. So they're gonna ask, okay, this is my father, right? So name can be changed, but they cannot say the last name will be this one. See, the last name is different. Nickname is, or, or maybe first name is same, both father, but family name is different, right? Right? So they wanna say, this is my father. They're gonna say, this is my father. That means different network will have their own father. That means different network will have their own default gateway, own default gateway. So this is the general rules, but in reality, but in the reality, that's not gonna be happen because to make the network complex, because enterprise level, they try to make a complex network to protect from the hacker and also security. So this is the easy network. Slash eight means class A, slash 16 means class B, slash 24 means class C. But if it is the case, it's not class eight, it's nine, it's not 16, it's uh, 17. It's not, Eighteen. Sorry, is is twenty five. Then what going to be happen? So, uh, if the subnet is different, different means not eight, not sixteen, not twenty four. Is over 24 or less than 24? Is over 16 or less than 16? Is over 8 or less than 8? Then what's going to be happen? If it is the case, that means, so say for example, this one, 25, right? So 25 means definitely 24 bit. That means three octet. Going to be same, right? Which is define the network ID. And from the whole study, here is eight bits, right? So out of eight bits, one of the bit we need to be borrowed for uh, extras, which is slash 25 for that's why. Extra bit for that. So that's what we need to mention. All right, so 24, 23, 25 slash 25 means there is a 24, that means three octet is completely dedicated for network, defining the network plus extra one bit you need to borrow from the host ID. So that means host has eight bit, out of eight bit you need to borrow only one, right? So one bit you can borrow from here. How many bit left? Seven. So this is the case. Now we just want, I just missed one thing. I need to show you guys actually. How many hosts, how many network you can create with all those slash? If it is slash eight, slash 16, slash eight, sixteen, and 24, right? So how many network, how many hosts? Definitely, it means first eight bits, that means first octet is dedicated for network, but we don't know how many network we can create, right? So there's a simple calculation. So it's two, the formula is for network formula is two to the power n. 
So what is the N? N means the beat number. Whatever we are counting, the beat number. So uh, 2 to the power N, so 2 to the power N means how many bits? 8 bits, right? Okay, that means 256 network you will be able to create with the, with the class A. If your format is class A, then you will have 256 types of network. If your network design is with slash eight, that means you'll, you can get 256 types of network you can create if you want. And then how many hosts you can get? So now we're gonna calculate. The host formula is a little bit different, which is two to the power n minus two. So two to the power n, n means the network host. Now we are counting host, right? Host bit number. So how many host bit number? It's 24, right? 8 bit is for network and the rest 3 octet is for host. That means 888 eight, eight, 24 bits for host. So 2 to the power n minus 2. That means 2 to the power n means network bit number. So the host bit number. Uh, how many bits? 24 bit, right? So 24 equals to what? 16 million something blah 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 216, right? Minus 2, minus 2. So total this 16 million, right? And this, 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 this number. So that many IP address you will be able to create with uh, class A. So we don't have that many actually um, hosts anyway. Plus huge network, right? With one network, you will be able to create this. All right. Now we're going to see actually with class B, right? So class B is 16 bit for network and 16 bit for host. So the formula is 2 to the power, 2 to the power 16 for network equals to is 65,000 something. So with class B, you will be able to create 65,500. 36 network and for the whole uh, for the host how many hosts you can create same thing 2 to the power 16 which is this but minus 2 remember why minus 2 minus 2 that means this 65,534 IP addresses you can get now we're going to calculate for class C. So class C, three octet is defining for network. So if you calculate how many network you can have with class C, so it's the formula is two to the power n, right? So two to the power n. N means here is twenty-four bits for network, right? Defining network. So twenty-four. That means sixteen million network you can create with class C, but how many hosts you can have? Like how many IPs you can get for your devices? How many IPs you can assign for your devices with this network? One network, one network, right? You, are, you will be able to create 16 million network, but now we are creating, calculating how many hosts for each network, how many hosts you can have. So the formula is same way, two to the power n minus two, right? So two to the power n, n means how many? Host bit number. Now we are calculating host, right? How many host bit number? Is only eight left for class C, right? So eight to the power eight equals to what? Two fifty six. Then minus two equals to two hundred fifty four. That means two hundred fifty four IP we can found. So why is not two hundred fifty five? Where is the other one? So other one is used for broadcast. That's why it's not here. So we have two hundred fifty four IPs. And out of 254 IPs, one of them is your default gateway. Maybe you can have multiple default gateway if it is submit. That's what we're going to look right now. So whenever we have the format like 8, 16, and 24, it's just very, very important. Whenever you have slash 8, slash 16, slash 24, that means with same network, you will have only one IP. With same network, 
with one IP. But if it is a if it is a subnet, that means you'll have different different types of network. That means different different types of default gateway. So that's we're gonna look at right now, and we're gonna understand actually how you can find out, figure out, and understand what what does it mean slash. So every time we're gonna calculate with the slash. So with slash. So slash, okay, let's see from here. Say 10 dot, 15 dot, zero dot, maybe zero, right? Maybe this one is 172. I'm just using the standard format, but it's not mandatory. You have to have like this, 16 dot, zero dot, zero, and then 192 dot one, 68.1 or 0 0.0, it can be like this. See here, this all are 0, it not means it's same. You have to look at from here. You see, plus A, 8, plus B, this, plus C, this, right? Fixed. And 8, 16, and 24. That's why we're always saying plus A, plus B, plus C. But whenever it is the case, like say slash 25, and also this one start with 10 dot 15 dot zero. It's look like same IP, right? Do you think it's also class A? We learned if the first octet is belongs to zero, zero to what? Zero to 126, it means it's class A, right? So this is 10, that means it belongs to this. It should be class A, but it's not class A. Why? Because in here at the slash 25, slash 25 means you have to keep continue three octets same. But in here you are not you are not bound to continue three octets same. In here, 10.15.0, you, you are not bound to keep continue for your IP addresses. You are not bound. You can change here, you can change here as a host IP address. The example we see here, right? The example we see here. You keep it in the same family, right? But if it is the case like this, it look like it's a class A IP, but at the end it's a slash 25, which is subnet, right? So whenever it's slash 25 or it is slash 24, it doesn't matter. Whenever you see something like this, but the IP is like this, that means three octet you have to keep same. And with this only possible, how many IPs? 120, no, sorry, 254 IPs. How many IPs? 200. 54 IPs is possible, only, only this IP is possible with this, with this. And one will be default getter, that means use, usable IP, how many usable IP? 253 usable IP, that means 253 IPs only you can assign for your host device or your server or your laptop or your desktop, right? With this network, but if you go for 10.15.1, you change it, then it's gonna be a different family, that means different network. But it's still in class C, not class C. Actually, look like, based on the first octet, look like it's class A, but based on the slash, it's class C. That means, oh, and those types of IPs, we cannot say it's class A or it's class C. So then what, what are the classes, right? In that case, we cannot say it is a class A, but based on the first octet, this one is class A. But based on the network ID, the slash 24 means three octet is blocked for network. So which, what do we learn here? So if three octet is reserved for network to represent the network, that means it's class C, right? That's what we learned. So based on slash 24, that means network reserved for three octet, that means it seems like it's class C, right? But if we look at the first octet, based on the first octet range, range like this range, right? So it is class A, but it's not class A, it's not class C. That means what? What kind of class? It's classless, it's classless. And in our enterprise level, all the time, you're gonna deal with the classless IP. All the time, you're gonna deal with classless IP, maximum time. So anyways, class is 24 or it's 25, it doesn't matter. It depends on the slash 
you have to continue this. If it is less 16, that means two number doesn't matter. What is the number starting? It doesn't matter. But you know, it cannot be over 255 or 254, right? So it cannot be 256, it cannot be 257, it cannot be 258, it cannot be 300, or it cannot be 400, right? Those numbers, you cannot use it. So the max is, the max number is 255, but 255 is for different uh, broadcast, so you can eliminate 255. So the max is now 254, right? The highest. Actually, in, in between number 250, but last one is 254, but second octet and third octet, you can have 255, 254. So max is 255, max. You cannot go over that. Okay. So I believe you understand. So if this is the format, also it still it can be plus less. Now we're gonna see what gonna be happen if it is slash nine, if it is slash 17 or if it is slash 20, 25. All right, just think about this one. We understand this is not class A, this is not class C, this is class less, but we know this is class slash 25. What does it mean? What does it mean? We're gonna learn. So for calculating this, you have to remember one technique. That piece is a subnet, right? So it's it gonna have like multiple subnet. It can be two subnet, it can be four subnet, it can be eight subnet, but depends on slash, how many. So we gonna learn that calculation. But before we learn that calculation, I want to request you, please, please, please give attention here. It's very important. Maybe you spent six months for learning IP submitting. I don't know how much you learn, but if you spend time here, dedicated time, just concentrate. I'll give you guarantee. After this, whatever I'm going to discuss now, you'll be the master of IP submitting. So before you go for submitting, you just I will I just highly recommend you, highly request you to remember one thing. So I just draw here 10 to bit. If you see here, the different color, 8 bit, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, and 8 bits here. Total 32 bit, right? That means this one, 8 bit here, this one, this 8 bit is this one, this 8 bit is this one, like this, right? So, think you see here, I, ha I have some number, one, two, three, four, four first octet is here, one, two, four, eight. That means how I increase the number, one, then double of one, which is two, double of two, which is four, double of four, which is eight, double of eight, which is makes 16, double of 16 is makes 32, double of 32, that means 32, 32. Double of 32 makes 64. Double of 64 makes 120. And I started from, usually people start from, one should be start from here, right? One, then two, right? Then four, then eight, right? From left to right. But in here, it's a little different. You have to start from, from right to left. So that means what? What is the first bit? From our first octet, first bit value is 128. Second bit value is 64. Third bit value is 32. Fourth bit is 16. Fifth is eight. Sixth bit value is four. Seventh bit value is two, right? So this is how you just need to remember only this. If you ask me what it is, there's a lot of formulas to figure out. But I'm not going with the formulas because if I go and describe with the formulas, your head gonna be start spinning. So I don't want that. I just, the reason I made this video to teach you guys, and you can learn from this video, like, and for your entire life, how we can uh, remember. So for remembering, just memorize only one thing here, this, and this will give you all the calculation. So just remember one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. You see here, I repeated here again for the second octet. I repeated here for the third octet. I repeated here for the fourth octet, right? So if you just know about this, then all the calculations will be easier. So before I go for calculating, um, calculating the IP submitting, I want to show you actually 
what should be the subnet mask? What should be the default gateway? And default gateway, you understand, I believe, from this description, right? Each network will have, if it is same network, not each network, if, if it is the same network, if it is the same network, same family, will have one default gateway. If it is different network, that means that different network will have their own default gateway. So the first IP all the time we count as a default gateway. So I believe in here as a default gateway, you don't have any um, conf uh, confusion. So if we, as for example, if we keep this one as a base example, 10.15.0.0, right? So what should be the default gateway? Definitely, we can say 10. Dot, we definitely can 10. Dot 15, oh, sorry, 15. Dot zero and dot one. One should be your default gateway, right? And subnet mask, we don't know. So how to calculate the subnet mask? So I'm gonna show you the subnet mask calculation here. And you will be able to calculate easy way. So the way you can calculate the subnet mask, I'll show you for class A, class B, and class C. How you're gonna calculate. If it is a class A or maybe say slash eight or nine. So for we're going to first see for eight. If it is the eight, then what will be the subnet mask? How are we going to calculate subnet mask? But only one thing you have to remember this. Okay. So for class A, um, slash eight, that means is look like class A, right? Definitely is A, class A, um, slash eight. So that means one octet is reserved for network, define the network. So this, that means this octet is only the define the network and rest of the rest of them you don't need to worry about it rest of them you don't need to worry about it right rest of them are host so the host means all are zero so now for subnet mask defining the subnet mask and define the subnet mask we're going to count only the network so 8 bit network means all 8 bit are positive that means is 1 value is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 one and all these are zero all these are host drive is zero why is zero is host it's not network it's not defining the second octet third octet and fourth octet is here first second and third is not defining as a network so it's going to be zero and with zero if you do the formula all this value will be zero so i'm not going with the formula just easy way think about if it is host you don't need to count all the zero so slash eight means we clearly know the first octet is defining network and the rest Three octet is for host. When and all for calculating subnet mask, if you know how many octet is defining host, then those one will be zero. So which one we need to be now consider uh, like concerned about? We just need to concern about the first octet because it's slash eight, right? So flash eight is network. So if it is just slash eight, that means all bits are one, right? All bits are one. So that means you need to be, that means you just need to add all together. So 128.64.32. Sorry, uh, 68.32.16. Uh, 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 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. You need to add all together. All the values you need to add together. And how much is going to be? 255. So it's 255. It's pretty simple. And then Rest of the number will be zero because it's all a zero, right? All a zero. I, I didn't write it down zero. It's all should be zero, right? All should be zero. All should be zero. All should be zero. So if the easy way is slash, it means you need to just consider first one, okay? And rest of them we don't we don't need to. So and then. All the host bit will be zero, easily zero, zero, and zero. So that's the subnet mask. Now, if I ask you, okay, if it is not slash eight, if it is slash nine, what do you need to do? What you need to do? So you have to, if it is slash nine, that means you have to borrow one more bit for second object, right? For the defining the network. All those are already defining the network, right? But this one you need to define as a network, right? So what, what do you have to do? You have to borrow this bit. You have to borrow this bit. There's going to be one, right? Right? 
So first octet you already know. If it is eight bit first octet defining network, that means all bill is one. That means it's going to become total two fifty five. But the second one because of nine, that means you are borrowing one bit from here, second octet. And when you borrow one bit, what is the first bit value? One twenty eight, right? So just put it to one twenty eight, and then rest of all zero. And then if it is not nine, if it says such ten. What's going to be happen? Then you have to borrow one more bit, right? So that bit will be one. Is that now? This two bit is also defining the network. So here you have eight bit here and two bit you borrowed, right? Total ten bit. That means this ten bit is now dedicating dedicated for defining the network. So whenever it's dedicated to the network, all those will be one. And then you're gonna the first the first octet definitely you add all together is gonna you're gonna get. 155, but the second one will be changed. What's changed? Whatever the bit you borrowed, just add the their value. So you borrow two bits, add their value. So 128 plus 64, how much you gonna get? 192, right? 192, right? And then rest of the bit is 000. zero, zero. You, you don't need to worry about it. Third octet is zero completely. Fourth octet is zero. So if it is 11, what's gonna be happen? You're gonna borrow another uh, one more bit, right? So that one will also one. So now what's gonna be happen? The first octet is you know completely booked for network, then it's 255 definitely. And second octet we need to think about, and third, fourth, we didn't need to think because all are host. This is gonna be zero. The only thing we need to consider, we need to think about this one, right? We need to think about this one only right now. We need to think only this one. So this one will be changed. How why change? Because we borrowed three bit, right? So three bit you add together three this three value. 128 plus 64 to 32, you're gonna get 224, right? 224, right? Right? So if it is the case, then now you are borrowing one more bit if it is 12. If it is 12, what's gonna be happen? It's a math game, right? So it's 12 means you are you are borrowing one more bit. You are borrowing one more bit from what? But one more bit. From the second octet. So now, first octet you have eight, it definitely is 255. And second octet now you are concerned, and third and fourth is the same because it's host, it's for host. You're not borrowing anything from here for network, right? So if it is not network, you don't need to worry about it, it's all all the time is zero, right? So network bit, how many bit you, you borrow for network? Four. Then what is the value? Add together. 128 plus 64, 32, 16. Then what is the number? 140, right? 240, 240. And then borrow one more bit, the same thing. And what's gonna be happen? You are gonna add together, right? Second octet. You just need to be concerned with the second octet because you are borrowing from the second octet. So 120, 64, 32, plus 16, plus eight. What's gonna be? 248, 248. Now, if you borrowed uh, one more bit from there, that means, so this is one, this is one. So now how many bit? You have already eight. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? So if it is slash 14, right? Whenever you have a slash 14, that means you are borrowing one, two, three, four, five, six, six more bit you are borrowing from what? From second octet, right? From second octet. And still you are in class A, right? But actually it's not class A, it's class less, but Seems like based on the network is class A, but it's classless also. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six bit you borrowed. So now you need to add one, this one plus 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 this one, right? And if you add together, it's 254, uh, 252, 252. And now if you borrow one more bit from here, it's going to be one, right? It's going to be. And that means if it is. That's 15. Then what's gonna be happen? You're gonna add all together, right? So if you add all together, 254, right? It's gonna be 254. But if you borrow this one, that means what? This one will be 16. So if it is 16, that means it's not anymore in here. It's gonna be go where? It's gonna be go here, right? Plus B, which is 16. 16 means it's already two network is book. Two Octet is booked for network. You see here, this octet is booked for network. This octet is booked for network. 
that is also you're gonna add all together if you're all together this one you're gonna get 255 right so now now if this one not 16 if it is 17 what's going to be happen the same thing is a math game right so now you are borrowing bit from your third object so definitely first and second is already completely booked for network that means 255 if you add all together 255 if you add all together you're getting 255 and this one you need to concern now you need to concern this one now what should be this value right so you need to borrow one more bit 17 means what you have 16 bit uh, 8 bit here 8 bit here that means 16 and but you, you have a 17 that means you have to borrow one more bit right so one more bit for what from where you third octet you third octet this one you're borrowing right so if you borrow this one so the color i made or borrow bit like this right so what's the value of this one under 20 right same thing under 28 now if it is not 17 if it is 18 that means you need to borrow two more bit from third octet that means here is going to be one right it's going to be one right like this right so now you borrow two bits that means what should be the value is 192 if you had 128 plus 64 right based on the value will be uh, and fourth octet you need to count because it's for host is zero right but so you're counting only this one so it's 192 right 192 and then if it is 19 what's going to be happen this one is one that means okay that means you need to count this three together right so if you count uh, 128 plus 64 plus 32 if you add together it's 224 the same way 224 right so it's easy way you can calculate so it's gonna go up to whenever it's all like say for example this also the same thing i'm just going faster way one 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 that means how many bit you borrowed from the third octet five that means this one is oh sorry this one is not anymore it's 23 right because eight eight makes 16 plus you borrowed another seven bit so 16 plus 7, which will make 23. So if it is 23 slash 23, that means that means seems like it's class B, but you have to borrow some bit. Class B, actually 16 bit, but you have extra, right? So you have for network. So you have to borrow from your second octet. So how many bits you borrowed? Seven bits you borrow from the second octet. And if you borrow second uh, first octet and second octet, we can say right. 255, 255, that's fine because it's reserved for network. But third octet, we are concerned. So we need to count how many bits we borrowed and we need to add all those bits value, right? So 128 plus 64, 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. If you add it together, you're going to get 254 here, right? 254 here, right? And then last bit is zero because it's host, no network, right? Right? It's zero. Now, whenever it's case is 24, that means it's not anymore here. It's, it's come here, right? So it can be last number will be 23. For if it is 24, then it's going to come here. 24, right? So if it is 24, that means it go it, it will go to the class C. That means three octet is defined for three octet is defined for network. So this one is completely network. This one is completely network. This one is completely network, right? So that means if you add all together, 255, all together, 255, and this one all together is also 255. And this one is definitely zero. So if it is class C with 24, that means submit must should be 255, 255, 255, 255 dot zero. That's how we got 255, 255, 255 zero. That's how we got it, okay. Now, same way, if you change it to 25, that means what you are doing? You are borrowing bit from here. One bit you borrow from your fourth octet. So now fourth octet, up to third octet, you can directly write it down. There is no issue, right? No issue, right? Only one thing you have to consider the 
for the for subnet now we are actually learning subnet mask so what should be the subnet mask so whatever the ip address is provided by your network team say for example they provided you this one right so how are you going to calculate from this what should be your subnet mask we are learning subnet mask now only just think about we are learning subnet mask now and your network team give you 10.15.0.0 slash 25 and you are now calculating what should be your subnet mask so slash 24 slash 24 you know it's already three octet is is defined for your network that means whenever it's completely blocked for network three octet is going to be 255.255.255 and also you have one extra bit for network but you don't have it so you have to borrow it from your fourth octet but before whenever it was 24 fourth octet was completely dedicated for you defining the host right but now when it's to slash 25 that means it's subnet you can have multiple network subnetwork but you have that means you have to borrow one more bit from your last octet so like this so whenever it's the, this is the case that means what should be the fourth octet value because you borrow one bit right one bit borrow value is 128 so it's just 128 now if it is slash 26 then what going to be happen you have to borrow another uh, one more bit here right you have to borrow one more bit which is one and then how many bit you borrow from the fourth octet two bits so what is the two bit value you have need to add right 128 plus 64 which is going to be 192 so it's going to be 192 if your network team give you this you can easily find out this right based on the form formula right now if you uh if it is uh say uh 27 27 then you have to borrow one more bit and the value will be one that means what you need to add all three together right which is going to go two to four right two to two to four right this is how we're gonna increase one by one right so and then now say this is slash 28 network team give you slash 28 then how are you gonna find out your subnet mask so you definitely know after 24 how many bits you need to borrow from your fourth octet four bits right four bit you need to borrow right four bit so if you borrow four bit that means you need to add all four bits value right 164 32 and 16. so how many it's going to be 240 right 240 and then if the number is changed 29 then what's going to be happen 29 so that means you have to borrow one more bit and this value is one and what should be the subnet mask is 248 right 248 so all bits are defining network only last three bits is just left for defining the host now if this is the case if this says 30 plus 30 that means you need to, you, you need to borrow five or six bit right from your part of that right so third after means uh, so that means how many left uh, how many, so what would be the subnet mask on the last one these three we, we know all are already blocked for network so 255 there is no you, need, you don't need to calculate it easily you can write it down but you need to now concern only four because you are boring whatever the octet you are boring you need to concern that octet right so how many bits you borrowed now six bit what is the value of each bit it's 120 so you need to add right so 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 is going to make you 252 so 250, 252 here actually it is slash 30 is going to be like this the subnet mask but how many hosts left two right so with two so if you do the formula two to the power n this is your host bit right so how many hosts you can have two to the power and two to the power n means n minus two. So two to the power n, if you do the formula calculation, how many hosts you can have with this? With slash 30, how many hosts you can have if you calculate? So two to the power n, n means your uh, host bit number two, right? Equals to four and minus two, right? Two to the power n minus two. So minus two, that means you can have only two IPs. So it's still, uh, uh, two IPs out of two IPs, one of them is your what? Out of two IPs, one of them is default gateway. 
and only host for the host, he can use only one IP. So still with slash 230, you can have only one IP. It's not makes sense to create this kind of network because if you break it down with sub network slash 30, you can have one gateway, one host IP, one gateway, one host IP. You can have multiple have sub network, but how many IPs you are getting? Usable IP, only one. So if you go over 31, and then you have to borrow one more bit from here, right? And then select this one. And now what should be the subnet mask? Your subnet mask will be 254, right? 254, right? And and do and only one bit, only one bit left for your host. Now do the calculation, how many hosts you can have. So to the power n, just calculate. Oh, I close the calculation. Calculator. Okay, calculator. So 2 to the power n, n means your host bit number minus 2. So that means what? 2 to the power 2, oh, sorry, not 2 actually, it's 1. Sorry, 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 okay. 2 to the power 1, oh, you, have, oh, you have left only one host bit, right? 1 equals to what? 2 and then minus 2. That means you don't have any host. So how are you going to create the network? So it cannot be, it's not possible. That means the uh, for subnet mask, the fourth one cannot be 254, never ever. You cannot do that. The highest 252 you can go. Highest, so this one also you have to reserve for. You cannot reserve, you cannot take borrow this one. So it should be zero. So that means you cannot go over 31. Your last one is up to 30, highest. Highest you can go 30, but still nobody make it because it's not make sense. Just can have with one network can have one IP. It's not make sense. But you can go. That's what I explained. Okay. Anyway, so now we're gonna learn. Okay, so we found our 255.255.255. We understand how we got this number, right? It, either it can be zero or it can be uh, 128 or it can be 192 or it can be 148 or it can be one, it, we know, right? 152, whatever. So we learn the gateway and subnet mask and now DNS and alternate DNS, prefer DNS and alternate DNS. I need to explain a little bit. Say for example, IP. So DNS, think about this is your DNS. So entire company, you can have two or three or four DNS number. Uh, why? So somewhere you will have a DNS server set up and that server IP will be used by all network, all network. Anyway, if you have a 30 submit, if you have a 60 submit, if you have a, if you have means your organization have, if your organization have a 200 submit, if your organization have a 2000 submit, 2000 subnet with millions of IPs, it doesn't matter. You will have some dedicated DNS. So there will be some DNS server set up with some kind of IP address. Maybe it 176.55.25. Maybe 14. And this one maybe 128.55. Something. I'm just randomly typing and maybe 44 or something like that. So if this is your DNS server, all of your IPs will have the same number. All of the IPs will have the same number. Like this. So that means what? Your company, you have a CEO, right? You have a vice president, right? You have a president, you have a vice president, right? So think about this is the president of the company this is the vice president of the company so if vice president if the president is died or he's not anymore then who gonna take care or who gonna uh, take the precedence or who will take the privilege right so the president vice president will take the place of president right if the president is not anymore now if the company has a Say for example, 1 million employees. So all of the employees, if you ask 
who is your president? So they're gonna say, okay, this is our president, this is our vice president, right? So each and every employees, if you ask, who is your vice president? They're gonna say this one. Who's your president? They're gonna say this one, right? So that means if you have millions of IP, all IPs in your internal organization, everybody will use the same IP for your DNS. If DNS is same. So there will be some DNS server set up. I'm not saying it's just only two IPs or two DNS server. It can have multiple DNS server. You can have multiple alternative IPs. And alternative IPs, it's not whenever you configure an IP address, you have to mention IP, ad, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, preferred DNS and alternate DNS. This is the rules to configure an IP address. You have to, if you have a 1000 server, and if you assign an IP address manually, you have to man, maintain this standard for all IPs. There is no alternative. You have to use it. Manually, you have to assign it. There is no alternative. But the thing is, 2000 server, you are not going to configure in the same day. That's why it's possible manually, okay? But you have to follow. You have to follow this format. So now we understand how we can get the subnet mask if we can. If somebody will give us this subnet, any one of the subnet, right? And also we're gonna figure out default gateway. And also the preferred DNS we understand is provided by your DNS team. So they will provide you. This is our IP address we are using for our DNS. We have two DNS server. We have three DNS or four DNS. If you have four, you can send four as a alternate one, alternate two, alternate three, right? But if you don't assign alternate, still you are okay. Still you are, you are okay. So now we're gonna learn actually how we can figure out our IP address with this. With this one, how we're gonna figure out our IP addresses. Okay. It's, it's actually classless. Classless. Okay. So now we're going to learn. So for learning this, we have to do one thing. Network. Just network. And then default gateway. I'm uh, the default gateway, and then star str starting IP. And Broadcast IP, right? Broadcast IP. Okay. So now I'm going to actually make it a little bit bigger because for your understanding, network and B16 and Okay, so to figure out, so this is the subnet, we get it from our network team. Say for example, 25, right? So this is the network, uh, this is the uh, subnet mask, uh, sorry, subnet, we get it from our uh, network team. They said, okay, slash 25 is used subnet. Now, how, how are we gonna figure out which IP is actually ours, right? How many network we can create? Because this is not class C. Also, this is not class A. It's a class less, but we know this is slash 25. That means 24 bits we have for dedicated for network class. One bit we need to borrow from this octet, right? That's what we learned. But how are we gonna figure out our networks and also IP addresses? So here is the formula. Actually, it's not formula, it's a technique. So if you know this technique, IP submitting is really easy for you. It's really easy for you. Just if you know this technique, 
please, please, please remember this and remember this. That's just that that will make easy for you to identify. Okay, network. So the network first, if it is this, then we're gonna directly write it down here. And dot fifteen dot zero dot zero. So this is our network. Okay, I don't know why it's small. I make it big. Okay, I just go for eighteen. Okay. All right. So this is the subnet is provided net network, right? Network ID is provided subnet is there is a multiple subnet, but it's provided by network team, right? So they mentioned 0, 0. We write down the same thing, whatever they give us. Now we need to know what should be the second one, second network, right? So second network, it depends actually what is the subnet is. So it says less 25, that means you are borrowing. That means you are borrowing what? Now everything makes this. So from the fourth octet, you are borrowing only one bit, right? So whenever you're borrowing one bit, so before we calculate separate mask, it was like the borrowing bit number you're just adding, right? Now it's a little different. To calculate the subnet is a little different. First, you have to figure out the network. And whenever you figure out all the network, then you calculate the broadcast and then everything is gonna be easy way. So we're gonna learn. So we, we, with this less 25 means what we understand? We borrowed one bit, right? So one bit, what is the value of one bit? 128. So the second network will be here, 128. That means what? This one, we get it from our network team. And this one, we find out based on our borrowed bit. And what should be the third one? So third one is all the time is same kind of 128, 128. Eight plus another one to eight. That's the technique all the time. It should be like this. So one twenty plus one hundred is gonna make what? Two fifty six, right? Two fifty six. Calculation calculator. Okay, I'm gonna open the calculator here. Okay. So we found what? Two fifty six, right? So now what should be the third one? Uh, fourth one. The fourth one should be. One fifty six plus one It should be like this. No, it should be all the time. Just added whatever the result you found with the result added one twenty eight every time. One twenty eight every time. You borrowed bit number. Just adding every time the same number, and then go over and go over, go over. Right. So if you added here one hundred and fifty six. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So no, it's two hundred and fifty six plus 128 equals to 300, what, what is the value? 300, How, 384, right? 384. So you can go, the next number will be 384 plus 128, then it's gonna be here, right? But do you think we can go here? No, we cannot. Because in the, this is the network requirement or, 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 or policy, you have to maintain, you cannot go over 256, never ever. Even though you cannot use 256, you see. So, but for calculation, we keep this one. Let's see. So that means we cannot go over this, right? So we got 10 network here, right? Now we need to calculate broadcast. How are you gonna calculate the broadcast IP? So the broadcast IP, the first broadcast IP, you need to look for your second network. So second network is 128, right? So the previous number of your second network will be your broadcast. So what is your second network is 128, right? So the previous number, that means what? 127, this is the previous number, right? And if you look from here, now it's going to be max. After 127, it's going to be 128. So you go like this way, and then you move here. You complete this one, and then move here, right? Now it makes sense, right? And then this is the way we can start, and you can do. 
So now, uh, <clears throat> the same way for second broadcast, we look for third network, right? So the previous number of third network. So third network previous number is 10.15.0.256, right? So it's gonna be the previous number, that means 55, right? So what should be the third broadcast? So for third broadcast, you should look for fourth network, but there is no fourth network, right? So that means you cannot go. So you this is the, your ending limit. So whenever this is the case, that means now you're gonna get only IP or anything, you're gonna get only here, right? So we're gonna calculate now default gateway. What is the default gateway? So default gateway, how are we gonna calculate it? So default gateway is easy, very easy, which is the next number of your network. So your network next number is one, right? Is 10.15.0.0, now it's gonna be 0 0.1. So this, this is your first gateway, right? What should be the second gateway? The next number of your network. So next number of network means you have 120, that means 129 will be your default gateway, right? And what should be your default gateway for this? Next number, right? So next number is 257. So 257 cannot be a network or any IPs, right? It's never ever because you cannot go over, right? So that means it's not possible. So I deleted, I deleted this one completely. Now, what should be the starting IP or what's the ending IP? So what does it mean? It's the range. That means how many usable IP you can get with this starting IP and ending IP. So starting IP and ending IP just with this. So uh, now we're gonna start an IP. So starting IP is next number of your default gateway. Next number of your default gateway. So if you do like this, what is IP number, this is the two. So this will be your starting IP. And what should be your ending IP on this subnet? So the ending IP, yeah, easy way you can calculate. It. So the previous number of your broadcast. What is the, what is the, uh, previous number, so it's gonna be 26, right? It's gonna be 26, right? Like this, 26. So previous number of your broadcast is your ending IP. So that means you can have the IP address on with this network, you can have the IP address usable IP. So the starting and ending IP is, is means that it's usable. That means you can assign those IPs for your device, for your device. So, <clears throat> That means usable IP starting from two. That means two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, up to 126. That's what it means. Now, the second one, the same, very simple. So next number of your default gateway, which is 30, right? Which is 30, right? 129, then it's gonna be 30. And which one will be your default, uh, the ending IP? So the last broadcast IP, the previous number, right? The previous number of your broadcast IP. That means if you do like this, it's gonna be 54. It's gonna be 54. So that means from 132 to 154. With this network, if it is the network, then this will be your default gateway. And so your usable IP from 132 to 254. Those are your usable IP. That means you can assign for an IP. A host. Host means your device, any server, desktop, laptop, whatever. So now, from so how we can see an example. So for an example, if if this if we now we know how many IPs we have here, right? So we have IPs from 132 to 154, right? Those are the our IPs. So say any one any one of the IP in in between. Say for example, we are signing IP address, um, IP address number. Say for example, we are signing IP address number uh, 47. IP address number 47 we are signing. Say just for an example, IP address number 47 we are assigning. Where? Here. So 10.15.0.0. One forty-seven, right? 
So 147 is belongs to this in this range, right? In this range, right? What should be our default gateway? What should be our default gateway? So definitely 129 is our default gateway, right? So 129 is our default gateway, right? How we get it? From there, right? If this is if the IP is belongs to this range, that means this is our default gateway. So 10.15.0.120 default gateway. And what is our alternate DNS and preferred DNS alternate DNS? That's we already know. Everybody gonna use the same, all right? For all IPs, any IPs, you don't need to think about. And what should be the subnet mask? So the subnet mask should be because this is slash twenty five, right? So slash twenty five means you are borrowing only one bit from here, and what is the value of this bit is one hundred twenty eight. That means your default uh, your subnet mask will be one twenty eight. So that should be your IP address configuration. So if you go to the server any server if you go you need to assign an ip address right so this is a server manager if you go to the server manager and then the second option local server if you click it you're going to see this and then ethernet you, see, you click here then you're going to see the ethernet how many you can have multiple ethernet but if you have only i have only one so double click on it and then you're going to see like this double click on it you're going to see like this so go properties and then uncheck the ipv6 because we are not working with the ipv6 we are working your IP before, right? So check, make sure you have check mark here and double click on here, then you're gonna get this one. So before, if it is DHCP, it will be like obtain IP. This one will be selected, right? And this one will be selected. But now it's selected, use the following IP, use the following DNS. That means it's a manually assigned, assigned by my, me or assigned by you, right? So what are you gonna assign here? The IP address here, subject mask, default gateway, preferred DNS and alternate DNS. That's the configuration you need to do for all. So in your entire life, whenever you work as a system admin, system engineer, all the time, whenever you configure a server, you need to do this, these five things you need to do, mandatory. And that's what we already learned, right? From here. So whenever we can we'll be able to find out, definitely, you not, you definitely, like whenever you get a subnet from the network team, and the first time when you get it, you're gonna spread it like this way. So you can have your IP address like this, for example, this one, right? So you're gonna have IP address like this. So if, um, how many IPs you can make it? So you can have like this, right? So you're gonna say, yeah, like this, right? So up to 254, right? Two. So you will have maybe up to two. So, so you can mark, okay, this IP I use it for this host, I use this IP, I use it for this host. You can maintain, you can maintain a IP spreadsheet, right? So some company they you they are maintaining manual way IP like a like this spreadsheet, like Excel spreadsheet to maintain their IP. Okay, this IP is already reserved, so they have some nodes. And maybe another worker from your team, they are working, they assign this IP for any one of the host. They mention, okay, this is the host name. We assign this one is already used. So that's how they keep record, right? For the IP address, IP that's called IP management. But some company they use IP management software, IPM, that's called IPM software. So company can buy, buy it. And also there is some uh, open source. Uh, so I have a video that calls um, PHP IPM. So I'll share and I'll put it on the description box. So that's how we can have it. If you want to learn how to deploy uh, uh, IPAM application for your company is free. So also you can use it to maintain. And definitely when you join for a company, they will have some IP management software anyway. So I believe you guys understand how you're gonna have those numbers, right? So we calculate this with 24, right? Uh, sorry, 25. So now we're gonna look at it with 20, if it is 26. If it is 26, if it is 26, then what do you want to do? So if it is 26, that means you have to borrow. Say calculate, okay, I know you you, can, you know you'll know with 26. Let's say start with 27. 27. If it is 27, what's gonna be happen? If it is 27. So if it is 27, that means how many bits you need to borrow? You need to borrow three bits from here, right? Three bits you need to borrow. Three bits, okay. Previously borrowed, right? So what should be your number? The first one easily you can write it down, right? The first one easily 
you can write it down based on the network being provided, right? So 10, 15, 0, 0, 0, right? What should be the second one? So second one depends on how many bid you borrowed and what is the your last bid. So you borrowed three bid, right? One, two, three from your last doctor. And last bid you borrowed, and what is the bill of last bid borrow? Is the last bid, that means your third, third one, right? Third one, value is 32. So you have to start from 32, 32, and every time you have to add 32 plus 32 plus 32. And who, what what going to make? It's going to make 64, right? And then again, 64, 64 plus 32. So whatever the last borrowed bid value, you're going to add up all the time that number. So it's little different than your separate mass calculation. You see here? So if you add it, what gonna be what what number you will get? 96, right? 96. And then add 96 plus 32. So what's the number you're gonna get? 96 plus 32. 128, right? So you are getting 128, right? And then you, what should we say your next number? Next network? 128 plus 32, right? So calculate it. 128 plus 32. What's number you're going to get? 160, right? So it's going to be 160. Then 160, then 160. Next one will be 160 plus. 160 plus 32, right? Because 32 year last borrowed bid and last borrowed bid value is 32. So 30, 160 plus 32, 160 plus 32, it's gonna make what? 190, 92, right? And then what should be the next? So with this, we're gonna get a lot of, we're gonna get a lot of, A lot of subnet. Okay. So 192, 92 plus 32, right? So what gonna what are you gonna get? 192 plus 32. What are you gonna get? 154, right? Sorry, 224. 224. 224, right? Now what should be the next one? Two hundred twenty-four plus thirty-two. So two hundred twenty-four plus thirty-two plus thirty-two, right? Two fifty-six. That means we are getting two fifty-six. Two fifty-six. Then what should be the next one? Sorry, two fifty-six, right? What should be the next one again? Two fifty-six plus thirty-two, right? And if you do this, what's going to be happen? Plus 32, right? What you're getting? 288, right? What you're getting? 288. Do you think it's possible? No, it's not possible. You cannot go over 256, right? So now, these are not possible directly, we know. So remove it. So far, we get this, right? <clears throat> now we need to calculate the default gateway, right? Yeah, sorry, yeah, broadcast. If you can find out the broadcast, first you need to find out the network, how many different different types of sub, sub network you can get. And then if you get it easily, you can get broadcast. So broadcast is the previous number of your second network, right? The first broadcast IP should be the previous number of your previous number of your second network, right? So previous number is 31, right? Now it makes sense, right? If you go like this way, after 31, it's going to be 32. Then what should be the second broadcast? So you can look for third network, right? For sec calculating second one. So the previous number of your third network will be your second broadcast. So it's 63, right? And then 
you look for fourth one, right? For calculating the third broadcast, fourth network, fourth network is 96. So it's going to be previous number, which is 95, right? And then for fourth broadcast, you need to look for fifth network. The pre and then the number should be previous number of your fifth, right? So fifth is 160, then it's going to be, no, oh, sorry, 128. So it's going to be 127, right? And then for this one, you look for here, right? So it's 160, then it's going to be the previous number. So that means it's going to be 59, right? And then for this one, for, for this one, you need to look for here, 192, so 191. So you can hear say 191, right? And for this one, for this one, we look for this one, right? So previous number, that means 23. And for this one, you look for here, right? 256. So that means what? The previous number, 255. And for this one, you look for here. So there's nothing here. So it, you don't need to calculate this one. That means you are done here. So the broadcast maximum is 255. It cannot go over. That's we already know, right? Now it's easy. So we don't need this one. We can delete it. So now it's easy. So how many subnet we are we are getting with slash 27? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 subnet we are getting with slash 27. And also, if it is 8 subnet, that means 8 types of network, that means we're going to get 8 types of default gateway. 8 types of default gateway. But usable IP will be very limited for each network. So let's see. So the previous number. So the previous number means, this is the previous number, right? Of your network. Sorry, not previous, next number of your network, which will be your default gateway. Next number of your default uh, uh, network. Next number of your network, right? So it's 64, it's gonna be 65. Next number, right? Next number, right? Next number, right? So we can maybe up here, okay. Like this, like this, right? It's pretty easy, right? Just next number. Just next number, right? So it was it was two uh, 224. Now it's gonna be two to four, two to five, right? Which is default gateway. Now we got our default gateway, we have our broadcast. So what should be the starting IP and ending IP? The starting IP is just next number of your default gateway. So next number is this. That means it's one, it's gonna be two, right? So for this one, for this network, your default gateway is 33. So next number is 34 is your starting. So your default gateway is 65. The next number is your uh, starting IP should be. So starting IP means is usable IP, right? You can start from there. So 66 will be usable IP or your first IP address. So if it is that default gateway is 97, then it's 98 be your first IP. If it is 129, your uh, default gateway, then your usable IP start from 130. If your default gateway is 161, then your user life is start from 162. If it is your default gateway starting from 193, then it's going to start 194. And if it is like this, 226, like this. But 225 is your default gateway. That means your first IP will be 226. Now, ending IP is previous number. It's all the time previous number. So. Your broadcast is 31. That means your last IP will be 30. And 63, that means up to 62, right? The previous number of your broadcast. So we can easily just do it like this way, right? So I believe you understand what I'm saying. So 127 is your broadcast, and previous number is 126, right? So it's easy to figure out. And you need just one time, first time, when you got the new brand new subnet provided by your network team you need to calculate like this after that you don't need any day available every day you just need to maintain a spreadsheet that's it spreadsheet or maybe ip address management whatever to keep record so those are the ip address we found so this is the usable ip for each subnet so if this is the subnet then your ip you can use from 2 to 30 2 to 30 those IP you can use for your host device or server, right? And same way, same way. So think about 
one of the IP in between this, just think about 10, 15, uh, from 98 to 126, 98 to 126. So if, if this is the number 99, so 99 is belongs to this, right? 99 is belongs to this, right? Then what should be your default gateway? Or maybe it's, it's uh, 113. So 113 is belongs to what? This one, right? So you have, you have like, you can use 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, up to 126, right? So if this, those are the IP address for your device, and what should be your default gateway? is 196, right? Uh, sorry, uh, 97, right? So your default gateway should be 97. And what should be the subject mask? What should be the subject mask if it's 27 submit? So subject mask is pretty easy, right? So whatever, the, how many bits you borrow? Three bits. So add all three bits value, 128, 64, and 32. So what you are getting? 2024, right? So the default gateway, uh, sorry, subnet must be 2024, 2024. So now you can easily have your complete IP address configuration. So that's all for this. So I believe you guys understand uh, subnetting. And this is how we can figure out your IPs. If you like this video, please make comments because uh, your comments um, because your comments will encourage me to make more videos. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. And also, if you're new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.